All right, welcome back to the course. So as you can see, we're going to be diving into formulas and functions right now. So to make that easier for you guys to follow along, uh, I'm using a little program called Mouse Pose. So you'll just see a highlighted circle wherever my mouse goes, little red dot where I click, and then you'll be able to see what I type as I type it. So for example, if I type, uh, let's see, can, Command C to copy some data and Command V to paste it, you'll be able to see that. So it should make following along a little bit easier as we get into uh, formulas and the like. So that being said, let's uh, dive in. So as you guys remember, we pulled together some filter views that only showed USA. And so now I wanna show you all how formulas and functions are built in Google Docs, in Google Spreadsheets. So what makes a formula? First of all, a formula always, always, always starts with an equal sign. So any formula that you'll be writing, and you can see here, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. You can see that once I start typing, where did that go? Just do a new one. So you can see like once I hit an equal sign, a little under, like bracket pops up in the cell, which is Google Spreadsheets way of saying, hey, this is about to receive a formula. And so what I wanna do is, let's say, uh, let's say we didn't have this total metals data. So let's go ahead and delete this column. Now, let's say we wanted to add up and see how many metals this athlete won from the US, because remember we're in a filter, we're in the USA filter. Uh, let's see how many medals they won in this year. So let's say, so how do we do that? So we're gonna write a formula that is called, we're gonna take advantage of something called sum. So what you do is you first type the equal sign, start typing sum, and you'll see a list of all of these potential formulas that we can use to in our spreadsheet to mess with our data so let's see equals s we'll type s and you can see all of these different formulas and if you hover over them you'll be able to see what each of these formulas do so let's do just a simple sum calculation so you'll see it starts with the equal sign then the command which is sum this is telling Google Docs, how we're going to treat the data over here. And then it's waiting for what's known as our arguments. So this is the, this is the, the structure that every formula, every function is going to follow throughout Excel, Google Spreadsheets, whatever. So equal sign, some command, a parentheses, and then waiting for arguments. So now to select data that we want to add, we can just simply drag and then close out the formula with our finishing parentheses, hit enter, and boom, six metals. So what we can also do is you can add data, and by the way, double clicking on a cell allows you to edit that formula. So you can add data using a colon. Oops. Oh, you need to type it, duh. Okay, so you can add, you can, man. So you can add using a colon. So a colon will tell it what the range is. So let's say I5. So then you can see it highlights these three cells as the range that we're going to be adding. You can also, using the sum formula, type in different arguments. You could say G5 comma H5 and that's gonna add the two cells. So I want you to remember a colon is a range and a comma is two specific, two or more specific cells. Like if we wanted to, we could do add I5 as well and it adds the three of these, it just treats them separately and not as part of a range. So that being said, so now let's talk about how do we copy this to the rest of the data? So there's two ways. So you can simply just drag like this and it will apply the formula in this cell 
to every other argument. So every other cell. So you, as you can see, in this cell, it's adding G6, H6, I6. Down here, it'll be G9, H9, I9. So you can just see it's taking the arguments. So from this formula, which says add column G, row 5, H5, I5. And as you drag it down, you're changing the row that it's adding, but the columns stay the same. Now, let's say that we wanted to, here, we'll go ahead and clear these. Oops. So let's say that instead of adding every row that we wanted to here, let's say we wanted to get a total metal count. So, and we wanted to do that in a staggered way. So let's do our formula again. So sum, let's add this range. And now let's see, let's say that we wanted to see these metals added to this tally. What would we do? So if we do, if we try and do the same thing, sum, we want these metals. So now we're adding these. So we want to add these two together. And then as we do the same thing down here, we want to be able to add the three of these things together. So what we could do is we could scroll all the way to the bottom of the sheet and create a total sum for this column. Or we could use what is called absolute formatting, which I'll go over now. So basically, if you wanted to add, let's say in this cell we wanted to add this range to what we have up here. And so if we wanted to do, let's say, sum, sum this range, plus that, what do we get? So we get 13, so that's eight plus five. I hope you can see that. Now if we were to scroll that down and we wanted to do the same thing, what are we gonna get? So if we wanted to add this to this, we'd hope we'd get 11, right? But what we actually get is nine. So if you take a look, this is why. So it, we wanted to add using this, but instead, because we've copied the cell down, it changed the way that, it changed the row that it's referencing. So you can see here, this is averaging, or using J2 as a reference. And as we drag this down, this is referencing J5. So if we, what if we wanted to keep it at J2? Well, what we can do is we can add dollar signs in front of the cell that we want to keep referencing. So what this says, what the dollar signs tell Excel is they're called absolute references. And so what they tell Excel is, or Google spreadsheets, it works the same way in Excel, but what they're telling this program is, okay, even if we copy this formula down, I want you to refer to the absolute position of J2. So when we copy this down, it'll be adding this figure to J2. So you'll see J2 will stay constant throughout this entire formula, even as this part, which is the relative data, the relative uh, cells that we're pulling stays, changes. So as you can see, you know, here we have, oops, here we have G21, I21, and J2. Down here, we have G25 to I25, J2. And this is again, if because of the dollar signs. So that is called, so again, this is called <clears throat> absolute formatting and this is relative format. So this is referencing a cell relative to the formula. So this will change as the formula gets copied into different cells. Whereas this stays the absolute same, no matter what you do with the formula, it will always reference J2, as long as those dollar signs are in front of it. So. That's a quick intro around how to use the, a quick like how to build a formula, how to use absolute versus relative uh, referencing. And next we're gonna move into all the different types of formulas and all the things that you can do with the massive library of formulas that Excel and Google Spreadsheets have to offer.